Well, joining us now from our Melbourne studio is Chris Varney. He founded the I Can Network, which aims to challenge perceptions of young people on the autism spectrum. Chris, thanks so much for making the time to speak to us. Now, does Senator Hansen have a valid point when it comes to autistic children possibly slowing down mainstream classrooms? Well, thank you very much for having me, Fauzia. I think the Senator has stepped into a topic that she doesn't know anything about. I think I, um, I work with 35 schools across Victoria, Tasmania and Queensland and work with an enormous amount of principals and their teams. The, um, the important thing the Senator needs to be aware of is that autism is a, is a mental processing difference. You could have a range of kids on the spectrum at all different parts of that spectrum in a classroom. And when I work with teachers, the overwhelming feedback I hear is that when they do learn the different structures that students on the spectrum need, and I'm an autistic who has been a student on the spectrum in a class that has needed different accommodations. Um, those accommodations might look like a visual schedule, it might look like some extra time, making sure that kids on the spectrum or with other neuro differences can double check things with them. And what that does for those teachers is it makes them better teachers for everyone in that classroom. So things a teacher does for one student on the spectrum benefits all the students in that class. I guess it does come down to a misperception of autism in general and as yes. you say it does depend on the scale of uh, autism but there would be parents out there who are concerned their children may not be getting the proper attention because other kids in that classroom should be attending special needs schools? Well, look, I, I, I think we're in a period of time in Australia where there are pockets of the teaching community that have had adequate training that have given them an awareness and cognizance of the different forms of autism that we have and how to enable those different minds in a learning environment like a school. Now, it is just too simplistic to say by Senator Hansen that you send autistic kids to a specialist setting and take them out of the mainstream setting. I think that ignores the incredible sophistication and incredible amount of work that's being done across the whole country to create an inclusive education system. So whilst there might be parents that say, you know, that group can go over to the specialist setting, I don't think any parent, when they bring it down to kids in their primary school, would really come to that view. That is just such a, it's too simple a remark to make when you think of the benefits that students on the spectrum bring to their whole class in modelling what an inclusive society can look like. Inclusion starts at a school level and that starts at a classroom level. There is a lot of talk and there's a lot of knowledge uh, about the benefits of inclusion for autistic kids. How would you sell this argument to parents who are concerned that the autistic child may be taking away proper teaching time for their own kids. How would you explain to them that perhaps having the autistic child in the classroom would actually benefit their own able-bodied child? I think it comes down to two things. The first is that autistic kids often help their teachers and their principals embrace diverse forms of learning. So. Our education system is, um, you know, favours text-based learning. Many, you know, I, I manage 40 autistics, have 500 autistic kids that my network is lucky to work with. We are constantly breaking things down into ways that auditory learners, that visual learners and text-based learners can receive information. And when a teacher is across those diverse learning structures, that stands to benefit all the kids in their class. Um, the second thing I would say is that the other argument here is that um, autistic kids, you know, being on the spectrum myself, you can often um, have interests and parts of the curriculum that you're quite advanced in because autism is simply a focused life that helps you latch on to your, you know, your particular topics, whatever that might look like for the individual. And sometimes having that high area of focus in one area does mean that there's another part of your learning that might be quite challenged. For me, that was maths. But I, I would say to those parents who are asking those questions that um, having autistic kids in your class will ensure that when your child might have a subject that they're struggling in or um, instructions that they're not receiving well. Teachers that have had students on the spectrum would be aware of diverse ways of breaking those instructions down for your kid when they are having their trouble. 
no kid goes through a schooling system um, receiving everything perfectly. Every kid has diverse needs and a student on the spectrum helps their teacher accommodate all those needs. Now, Chris, while Senator Hanson didn't apologise for her comments, she did say that there was a need to push for more funding and more, more of a focus for uh, special uh, education for autistic kids. We also know that a Victorian parliamentary committee has found that there is a lack of inclusive schooling options for autistic children. Is this mainly due to a lack of specially trained teachers or teachers who are not across uh, mainstream and I, spe I suppose special needs teaching? Well, I'm glad that Senator Hanson has talked about the need for resources and teacher training. I do think she does need to apologise given how important it is that we equip the emerging generations on the spectrum with a strong sense of pride in being on the spectrum. Senator Hanson's comments do, um, you know, for the 10 or 14 year old who's wrestling with what that diagnosis for them means, um, the, her comments can be quite damaging to them. So I do think she does need to apologise. But if we bring it back to um, the training question, it's training that every teacher needs, training that every practitioner working with children and young people needs to make sure that we have schools that benefit from embracing these different neuro differences. It's not a, it's not a specialist conversation. We need to talk about how every teacher across our education system re receives training that equips them for these diverse learners. It's great talking to you. Chris Varney of the ICANN Network, thank you. Thanks, Fauzia. Thank you.